Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to another episode of the Fallout Settlement Guide. In this one, we're going to start on our power grid and get our water supply up and running. So we're just going to go across the little wall here. A oh, little wall, it's a huge wall. Across the huge wall and over to this side of town. Now, as you can see here, I've already pre-built this house. I never built it. It was one of the prefabricated ones. But I placed it down here. And we're going to use this entire space to build our power grid. Now, the reason I built this house was just to put the terminal in it just to keep it out of the rain and we need a terminal connected to it because we can have just one terminal and if we manage to set up the power for our whole town connected to that one terminal we can change things using it so it's okay for things like laser trip wires but um, if you want to change things like light boxes you might want to just do them individually but we'll still have one terminal in here okay and also anyone who might want to uh, work on this side of the wall we can put a bed inside as well so I'm just going to get out my workshop menu and I'll show you guys what we will be building. So we've got the power, generators. I'm going to build a lot of these uh, windmill generators. Now the reason I'm building those is because they look cool. And that is it. Because they produce only three energy. And if you compare that to the large generator, which produces ten, I'm not sure why this one only produces three. Maybe because it's a windmill, <laughs> you know energy efficient but we will build these we'll fill as many as we can and make this look really cool and then we'll actually just be powering this element using these generators you won't see as many of them but they'll be doing all the work so i think the first thing that we'll do we'll just start placing these down okay and uh, we're gonna have one there somewhere there and i think we'll just keep placing them down let's try get as many as we can I don't have too much copper, but I think we've got just enough to do this. We'll just place them down like this. I don't want to get too close to that edge, actually. In kind of like an all our name pattern, you know, like some there, some there. And then if we go to across the water, if we can, then we can take a look and see what it looks like. So we'll just jump across here. Here is the provisioner. She's supposed to walk between settlements, but she always just spends all her time in the water here. Uh, ooh, that's that's not very good looking. So what I'm going to do is move all these ones down slightly. Okay, guys, I will do that, and then I will get back to you. All right, guys, there we go. I have all of these wind generators. I also put down some actual power generators I'm going to be using along the front and at the sides and the back. I only put down as much as I had copper because I still need some copper for the water filtration units and that's what I'm running out of. So we'll just go back in here and we'll take a look. I've started to wire them up, but I am uh, not gonna do all of this yet. We'll build our water filtration units first. Okay, or actually we might as well just do this just now. So I'm gonna fill that in. Is it going to attach? I don't think it wants to. Ah, there we go. All right, and then this will hopefully stretch over to here. And we'll just keep connecting all these up. As you can see now, I have 194 power in my settlement. I don't actually need all this power. Because, to be honest, the only thing that I actually use power for, power for that's not lights is... Uh, light boxes and they do take up a lot of power but not this much we'll connect all these and then once we've done that we can connect these is that them all i think so we can set up our computer so we'll go to power and we can just place it somewhere on the inside here and uh, let's just say there and we need to connect that to power now, so I'm going to go and take out one of these. Which way will be the best to do this? I think if we connect, if we go upstairs and put a power conduit on the up top bit. So if we place one on the wall, then we can connect that to this one. And then we can start connecting them to the inside. So we can put one 
there. I will neaten this up, obviously. Not in this video. Onto there, and then we can put it downstairs. A bit rough, but it'll do for now. And there. And then the computer. Might have to move this over. Oops, I just picked up the whole house. Whoa, why does it keep doing that? Why can't I just pick this up? Okay. I'm now stuck inside the house. Can I pick this up from somewhere else? Um, I don't even need to. I can just connect it. Connect that. And then connect this. There we go. Alright, so our computer is connected, roughly, but it will do for now. Um, it's very, very dangerous around here with all these wires. But fortunately, we don't have to wander through it. So what we're going to do now is set up our water filtration. So if we go to resources and water. And I'm going to build all of these big industrial water purifiers. And let's see how much materials I have. I've only got 28 copper. And that's what's going to run out. So I can get quite a few of these built. It depends how much fit in. We can get one there. These things look like aliens. We can get one there. There. Well, these actually require quite a lot of power, so. And what, how much am I up to? One, two, three, four, five, six. And these look pretty weird. And are we going to get one in there? No, not just now. But I will try my hardest to get as much of these into this tiny bit of water as I can. But we will uh, try to do that at a different time. All right, connect all these together. And then we just have to connect that to the power supply and then we are done. Uh, what is this? Ooh, I've run out of copper. All right, guys, I just had to break down one of my generators quickly just to get a couple of bits of copper so we could finish this off. Um, I'm going to connect this one to the generator first and then see how much copper is left. I only got two bits, but I'm not sure if you use one or two to uh, connect the wires. So we'll connect you to the generator. And you can see we now have 98 water. And let's see if we've got any left. Yeah, there we go. So we get... You'll use one copper for a piece of wire. Now, I always forget that. But we now have 98 water. Uh, I'm not sure why it never went up when I connected this one. Hmm, they all say they produce 40, but... Ah, uh, because we don't have enough power now. Which doesn't make sense because I have 184 power and these only require 5. I don't know. I guess I will figure that out once uh, I get back to you in the next video. Okay guys, I just wanted to showcase um, what I was going to build here. And I will figure out all these problems at a different time. Alright, so let's just go back over, take a quick look and see everything that we built. After this guys, we don't have much left to go in our settlement. Just a lot of uh, things in the marketplace. This is all looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I've got to finish off my wall. Uh, but other than that, I don't think we have much left to go. Okay, guys. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Lots of things going on there. Like I said, I will try to work out some of the problems I'm having. Okay, it's probably something really obvious that I've missed. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.